The Russian army continues to suffer large-scale losses in the war against Ukraine. Thus, during September 20, Ukrainian defenders destroyed another 1,440 Russian invaders. Ukraine also said the Russian military lost 21 tanks, 38 armored vehicles, 58 artillery systems and 92 drones, among other equipment. According to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, a total of 217 combat clashes took place between Ukrainian defenders and Russian invaders. In the Kharkiv direction, the enemy tried to advance three times in the Vovchansk region. There were 19 attacks by the enemy in the Kupyan direction that I in the Lemansk direction, the armed forces of Ukraine successfully repelled 10 assaults by the Russian occupiers. One enemy attack was recorded in the Seversky direction. The enemy also launched nine failed attacks in the Toritsk direction. In the Dnieper direction, it was also possible to repulse three enemy assaults. In the Kursk region of Russia, since the beginning of the past day, enemy aviation has carried out 22 airstrikes, dropping 25 guided air bombs on its own territory. The Ukrainian military advanced in the Kursk region. At the same time, Russian invaders press along the line Kupyansk, Svetovo, Kremenea, within Toritsk, near Pokrovsk, and the advance of the enemy near Gulyapolum is recorded. This is reported by ISW. It is reported that on September 18, Ukrainian forces continued their assault on the Glushkov district of the Kursk region. On September 18, Russian sources, including the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation, said that the Russian army allegedly repelled the attacks of the Ukrainian army near the Mary, Medvezhai, and Novi Puty. Ukrainian troops recently expanded their bridgehead in the Kursk region. Geolocation footage from September 17 shows that the army advanced to the east of Krasno October. On September 17, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation announced that Ukrainian troops attacked southeastern Koronevo in the region of Obakovka and Lubomovka, as well as northwestern Sudza in the region of Maloy Lokny. Geolocation footage, published on September 17 and 18, show that Russian troops have recently moved eastward along two forested areas southeast of Koronevo and south of Obakovka. On September 18, the Russian soldiers said that the Russian army had advanced to the south of Durovka and along the Koronevoshepchikovka Safanovka Highway. Also, Russian bloggers claimed on September 16 and 17 that Putin's troops advanced in the area of Algovka and Uspanovka. On September 18, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation announced that the Russian troops were conducting offensive actions to the southeast of Koronevo in the area of Nikolivo Dorino, Dorino, Lubomovka, Tolstoy Lug, and southeast of Sudza in the area of Plekovogo. Geolocation footage, published on September 18, shows that the Russian army recently carried out a mechanized assault on Ukrainian positions in the southeastern part of Koronevo. The representative of the Kharkiv Regional Military Administration, Alexei Dmitrashkovsky, told AFP on September 18 that Ukrainian troops stopped the counteroffensive of the Russian Federation in the Kursk region and stabilized the situation.